Have you ever experienced love at first touch? Allow me to share an intriguing incident from last month. I found myself in New York anticipating visiting Poland store. However, I arrived a tad early and they weren't open yet. Just across the street, there was Madewell calling me in. Being a passionate leather junkie, I always admired Madewell's simple yet affordable leather goods. As I was looking through their collection, a tiny little bag caught my attention. When it comes to leather, it's an experience. One that involves your eyes, your hands and your nose. This bag, with its modest design, had a leather that felt incredibly pleasing to the touch and smelled amazing. Price at $118, I decided to get it for a detailed inspection. When I brought this beauty home, my wife was instantly smitten. She used it for a few weeks and thoroughly enjoyed it. Finally, this morning, I was able to convince her to let it go. And here it is now, awaiting for our meticulous dissection. I applied acetone on this leather knowing that there's no finish on it. I couldn't remove anything because it's completely naked. What we call this leather as crust. There is no finish on it. Probably just a little top coat to give it a little bit of shine and that's it. I absolutely love the look, touch and feel of this leather, the smell of it. This is a textbook example of a good leather that has the feeling. If you want to check it out, go to a Madewell store look at it, touch it and smell it. So you can establish a baseline for a good natural leather. Although it's really beautiful, it doesn't have any finish on top to protect it. You can check this by any leather by applying a little bit of water. That's what we do in the tannery. We put a little bit of spit on the leather and see how quickly it's gonna absorb it. And if it gets dark and absorbs that water real quick, it means the pores are open. So it's gonna take everything you throw at them. You have to be careful if you don't want it to get dirty because it's gonna suck them in really, really quick. It also means that it's gonna patina very nicely as you use it, it's gonna get darker and shinier in time. I see about five square feet of leather being enough for this project. Leather estimate is $15 here. It's not a complicated project to assemble, so $20 should cover the assembly and the hardware on the bag. In total, $35 should be able to cover a project of this size. This bag says it was made in India, and despite its straightforward design, the craftsmanship is quite commendable. The leather, absolutely breathtaking. Here's an interesting tidbit for you about the leather. So the Lahore region that sits between Pakistan and India produces one of the most exquisite grain patterns on the cow hides. And a lot of Italian tanneries go there to procure half processed leathers, wet blues, to bring it in Italy and finish it there. And just like that, we have a lot more Italian leathers available. This bag is a testament to that natural, beautiful hide and is crafted by artisans who earn relatively lower wages when compared to their European or American counterparts. This enables Madewell to offer it to us at a reasonable price of $118 after their markup. Madewell impressed me again with their quality and price point. I'm very happy with my purchase. I hope they continue their valuable contribution to the leather community.